one for a point P that is negative 2 comma 1 on a hyperbola x squared minus y squared equals 3, a tangent line at P on the hyperbola intersects the y-axis at Q. When a line passing through the point P is perpendicular to the tangent line, the line L intersects the y-intersect y-axis at a point R. We're going to find the length of RQ. All right, so basically what we're going to do is use this formula here uh, for the tangent line uh, because we're given a point. So basically what you do is you take your uh, x squared minus y squared equals 3. We don't need the 1 here because this is all under um, all over 1. And all you're going to do is uh, substitute in your x and y like uh, we have in the formula. So this is going to be uh, negative 2x minus y equals 3. So that's the tangent line to this at this point. Now I can rewrite this in uh, slope intercept form and get y equals negative 2x minus 3. Now that means we have uh, uh, the tangent line intersects the y-axis at q. That means my q is the y-intercept which is going to equal 0 comma negative 3. So now we have to find the r. Okay, the line which is perpendicular to the tangent line is um, you take this slope as negative 2, so the uh, perpendicular slope is going to be the negative reciprocal which is 1 half. So that's going to be uh, y equals 1 half x plus some um, uh, y-intercept, and we're looking for the y-intercept. Let's call this equation 1. Since 1 also passes through this point P, which is negative 2 comma 1, I can substitute in uh, negative 2 comma 1 into our equation here. So I'm going to get 1 equals negative 1 plus n. When you add 1 to both sides, you get n equals 2. So therefore the equation of that tangent line is y equals 1 half x and we're just substituting this 2 back into that n. So that's going to be plus 2. That means my r is going to intersect the y axis as well. So that's going to be 0 comma 2. And we're trying to find the length between uh, the length of RQ. So all you're going to do is look at these lengths here. And we're going to take 2 minus a negative 3 and that gives you 5. So our length is or our uh, line segment is going to equal 5. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.